Hello guys. So as some of you might know, my previous actual S guy video was blocked because I some of the songs some of the songs I use. And that's why in this video, I'm trying to do a different format and see if you guys like it or not. Let me know in the comment if you like my, just let me to talk about it and using just the in-game sound for my future videos. Or if you prefer the old fashioned way where I use subtitles and put in some random songs and you guys enjoy watching it. Yeah, if you prefer the old way, um, I will try to use some of the less popular song so that I, we get less copyright <laughs> claim. And if you prefer the new way, I know that my accent is pretty bad as you can tell right now. That's why I don't prefer me talking on the mic. But if you actually prefer this way, let me know in the comment. Yeah, so this video is not a guide video. What we're trying to do is, we're trying to see if it's possible. Because we last video, HOS, we used a free to play weapon. I mean, to free, a free to play stigmata to clear finality level. And that's why I want to see how low can we go. Now, of course, we're not going to do finality again. It's just a pain. What I was trying to, we're trying to do is I'm trying to get all the, all the, let's see here. So what we're trying to do is get all the 2.25 difficulty, 18k score at floor 16, and get all the weekly reward, all the weekly gem, I mean, all the weekly gem here, with, here, a level 50 weapon, Unfortunately, her signature weapon is my only level 50, and I don't have any more material to upgrade the free to play weapon. So, yeah, bear with me, guys. I know I'm kind of cheating here using the signature weapon, but complete free to play should be using this weapon, I think. But yeah, um, using this level 50 weapon plus plus the three star original, three star Wang Zhao Jun Stigmata set. Now, this set gave 15 first amount of damage. And this set bonus, you can read it yourself. And how we're gonna balance off the weapon as much as possible is that if somewhere on the screen right now, you can see the difference between the two weapon at max at level 50. Now the attack is 50 attack difference. Now how we're gonna balance off this 50 attack difference is by having the Aphex here well, I'm, you are supposed to roll, re-roll for at least one attack stats on each piece. And each attack stats average is 15 attack on average. Sometimes you get lucky, you get like 18 or 20, even 20. And so your average is 15. So the three piece combined together will be 45 attack. That should balance off some of the attack difference that we have for, for the two different weapons. Okay. Now this one, you can see, I don't have any effects affect my SPA. IMG type, she's not IMG. The mid part, Archer, and I don't know how to pronounce this word, but we are not this type of weapon user. <laughs> and another IMG type. So yeah, oh, this one do additional line of damage, but that's like whatever. Honestly, whatever. Attack is what matters the most. Because this game, attack, raw attack, is the hardest stats you can get. You can, like, you can only get this from Divine Key, Dorm level, and your gear. That's it. Pretty much that's it. You cannot get it anywhere else. While you have, you get so many damage multiplier from ER. So that's why attack, raw attack, is the most important stat in this game. Not like Genshin. Genshin, you get like a ton of attack from artifacts. And that's why in Genshin, damage multiplier, on the other hand, is more important. Yeah, that's the idea. So yeah. Oh, back, back to the point of this video. So this video, we're going to try to see if we can get all the weekly gem in ER with a level 50 weapon, plus the 3-star 1 Zhao Jun Stigmata, but you must be the S2 though. I tried it with S1, it's just not possible. Not enough DPS at all. Like completely off of DPS. But by having S2, this is a big jump, because we, first of all, we unlock a new skill, this one. Entering this um, Valkyrie mode, we're gonna trigger two seconds of global time fracture, which will give us, which we can use this buff. Um, this buff. Time slow enemy takes 20% bonus, don't total damage for five seconds. This is amazing buff. And we can constantly trigger this because we're constantly entering and out, getting in and out, in and out for the Valkyrie mode. So, yeah, that's a big first reason why it's a big jump. Second reason, oops, wrong one. No, not official. You are in the wrong channel. Yeah, second one, because at S2 you gain 10% attack. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, attack is a very important stat in this game. That's why this S2 is a huge jump. So you need S2 in order to clear 2.25 for using such a low end gear. <laughs> okay. And yeah, and before we start, check out the emblem. You're, if you're watching this video, and if you're actually planning to try, out, to try this out, you're probably not gonna have the tier 3. You don't have this yet because you need 2.5 difficulty to get this. So you, I'm gonna I'm gonna simulate that by using the tier 2, 9% only. And also, I am at Thorm level 22. Uh, attack 43, fire attack, damage 10%. And my divine key, 28 attack total. And I know right now I don't have anything activated right now because it literally expired right after I finished the run. But before I start the run, I was like this. I might as well just activate this right now, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was like this. Fire damage 4%. The first one doesn't matter at all. Um, you need to get more SP here. Okay? And I think I, I only rolled one divine key in my entire three months of playing. Yeah. So my divine key should be very similar to both of you. So yeah. Let's see if this is possible now. Uh, S2. Okay, I know 5.7 is coming. I'm sorry guys, I pulled this at the very last second. Cause I literally, I tried this. I started recording since Monday this week, the last week. And unfortunately I, <laughs> after five days of trying, I just can't do it. And right now, I'm giving this like one final try. Cause I have a new idea. So let's see if that works. Yeah. So we're gonna take these two buff, S2. You only take these two buff for SPA when you have S2 and above. If you don't have S2, normally you will use like weapon weapons active. And whatever, whatever this is, or even change it to HUS. I mean, change HUS to HOD because you are getting counter type for us. Well, it's up to you. Um, for S two, definitely these two, no question about it. All right, I support standard AE BR. Now, very important. First of all, your elf, <laughs> Jinwei. You must max out her healing. Any any skill that has healing, the increase of healing. So this one. Increase healing, increase healing, increase healing. This one does not. So these three, you need to max out these three. Because what we're gonna do here is we need to because you don't have much DPS from the you losing the um the what's it called what's it called this one Lagana. You're missing the Lagana set, which give an insane bonus, right? You're missing this. That's why you need to cover the damage by using Calpus Core Two in this fight. That's the new idea I came up with. All the runs so far, I did not use Kalpus. I use Hua. I use my standard stuff in my guide video, but it just doesn't work out because I'm lacking so much DPS. So my new idea is using combining Kalpus 2, so you stay at low HP always, and Hua Court 1. Because you're gonna in a long fight here. Much longer fight than your than my um guide video. Because again we don't have that much DPS. So Hua Core 1 is actually a better choice. For long fight than Hua Core 2. Even though we're gonna lose out some damage in the beginning, but in the long run, we're gonna have more invincibility. So that's a better choice. And we can keep our stack at max because we have longer invincibility. So yeah, the plan is go for Kalpus. And that's why Jin Wei healing is very important because you can heal more. The more you heal, the more H max HP you gain from abusing his Core 2. Okay? Alright, so and then the lastly on the sigil, begin start off with lonely the lonely moon. Now the reason why I will explain a little later, but the reason the main reason why is because this damage on early on it helps a lot to help you get double reward on floor floor four and floor seven. These two floor, and only on this patch by the way, only on this patch. Next patch we don't know because the way this sigil recharge is by taking down the enemy of each type and you gain different amount. You want to gain 600 charge within the same fight for the first two wave of enemies. 
So on floor four, you're gonna get the first wave is gonna be three quantum enemy. Second wave is two bio enemy, which means by defeating those five enemy, you want to have 600 charge. How can you do that? Well, in this patch, the TLDR is, there is only two type of Valkyrie can do that. One is mecha type, one is quantum type. You must be either mecha or quantum in order to use this sigil and to get double reward on floor four. That's it. Any other type of Valkyrie cannot get 600 back, okay? Now, for floor seven, you're gonna have two bio enemy on the first wave and another two bio enemy on the second wave. That's four bio enemy, which means only mecha type can use this to get your recharge back by the time you hit the third wave on floor seven. So, SPA, mecha type, perfect for this sigil, for this patch only. Next patch, enemy is gonna change. I don't know what's gonna be on the floor four and floor seven, but after we do the math, we will figure it out later. Yeah, that's why we must use this to cover up our lack of DPS and get double reward, snowball. Really, really important, okay? Again here, all right, let's, oh, by the way, I'm not sure if, if, I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but special adjustment, every Valkyrie is different. Make sure you read this, very important. Make sure you read this and understand what your Valkyrie get the buff, what, what kind of buff your Valkyrie can get, and make a plan about it. The main one about this is that you restore 40 HP per second in your, in your um, thing in your Valkyrie state. And, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Valkyrie, uh, no, uh, this damage, uh, no. Grant invisibility during your erupt time. Only erupt, okay? Make sure only erupt, which is the last poke. The last poke, you are invisible. That's why when you are picking, using your hometown sigil, don't use it when you're erupting. Use it when you're doing your normal attack, okay? Yeah, that's the main thing to keep me mind here. And let's go. And you want to again begin with three Elysia door in the beginning, just like my guide video showed. And I'm gonna talk about my in-game thoughts throughout the video. And yeah. Again, you want to begin with Wild Flare, Star Quillian Blessing for gathering and also more damage. And Radiant Formation. Ero plus one. This is the your your core damage where it come from, and also reduce your the ultimate CD by twenty percent. Okay, you want to begin with these three, Senna, before full four. That's a must. So I'm gonna reset this. Be right back, guys. Uh huh. Be right back. I'm gonna reset this until I get it. All right, we are back from resetting. So um, I will be honest. With, to will be honest with you guys, I have tried this floor so many times off screen because I don't want to keep you guys here forever and I finally found a solution our DPS is really low that normally we will not have enough DPS to get double reward on 4-4 even with the triple Elysia to begin with now the only solution to this is that this the lonely moon sigil here we gotta make use of this so that we can use this twice in this floor the, um, the first use to instantly kill off the first wave and then the second use will be kill off the seed of the enemy in the second wave. Uh, in the third, I mean in the third wave. I know that we are getting five one seven updates soon, so this, um, this rotation is not gonna work in five one seven. But I just want to let you guys know that it is possible for now. And this sigil though, um, for now only mecha type and quantum type, Valkyrie can use, in floor four, because how the sigil recharge work. And if you do the math here. You will see that after defeating the first two wave of enemy, you will get exactly 600, 600 back recharge. But that's only if you are a mecha or quantum type of Valkyrie. Next patch, this is gonna change. And we, I mean, I do not know. I didn't, I didn't see the 517, um, the ER yet. So yeah, next patch, we will have different Valkyrie type that can use this, but we don't know. I don't know what's gonna be yet. So uh, I, the plan is, first of all, we're gonna begin with a charge attack to group them and also use the sigil immediately. Try to keep the enemy inside the circle of the pain so that the explosion can get them. And also do one round rotation so that we can get some SP back. And then uh, we do not erupt the second charge 
Just use this one to put them into inside a circle. The moment they die, throw everything on them. But as you see now, sometimes the sigil is glitched and you see the explosion kill of the three enemy, right? But you're only getting two dirty back, which means you're only getting two out of the three enemy you kill for some reason. For some magical reason, they're all in the circle. Yeah. So this one is a foul run because the glitch has screwed us up. And that's one part I don't like this sigil. It's just it's too buggy. And this happens quite a lot of the time. So yeah, let's try to redo this again. Do one round rotation. Get some SP back. Start in the second round. Do not erupt and try to keep them inside the circle. So do this. One charge attack. Alright, now they're inside the circle. Now, the moment they die, charge attack. And throw everything on them. Now, okay, again, we're getting two dirty back only. So, yeah, this bug is, is. It happened quite a lot of time. After testing multiple times. I don't know what exactly is calling this, though. And there's also another bug, which you might see later. Let's do this again. Now you need this exact same rotation in order to get the double reward here. Unfortunately. If you do not have that much DPS. Keep it in a circle. Alright, now that's another bug here. You see the damage, definitely, right? But the damage is somehow not enough to kill them. When the damage is supposed to one shot them at floor 4. That's another bug. And then there's a third bug, which you haven't seen it yet. Alright, um, they need to be in a circle, so... Let me dash backward. Should I push them a little bit? Push them a little bit. Alright, wait for them. Boom, explode. Again, too dirty. Again, too dirty. We need the exact 300 mark. In order to use the sigil once again. Dead. For okay, now we got it. And then we're going to kill off the second wave as soon as possible with every support skill and up weapon skill used. And that, after this, that when the third wave come out, we're gonna group them together first, and then trying to kill the body as soon as possible. And when the support skill is up, we're gonna spam it as soon as the support skill is up. And most importantly, alright, let's group them first. Most importantly is you want to use your second signal use at the mark of when the timer countdown hits 17 seconds. If you if you if you're not feeling safe, you you can you can use it at the 18 second mark, which is fine. But 17 second is the minimum you can go, and that will give you the biggest DPS window. So watch out for the timer. Right now it's 19. I'll do a 17 second soon. See what I mean? 17 second now. Because when you cast the sigil here, it takes two seconds for the uh, for the for that for the woman to cast the pain, and then it takes fifteen seconds later to, for the, for the explosion to happen. Right? Oh, and also keep them inside the circle. Uh oh, this one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the explosion normally have it explode. Um, the radius is high, it's bigger, it's a little bit bigger than the circle. So if they are outside the circle a little bit, you, they will still take the damage, like that one. So the reason why you cast a 17 second mark is because it takes a full 17 second from the moment you use the signal until it explodes. So that will give us the biggest DPS window trying to kill off the body when you have low DPS. And then the explosion will one shot the C. That's the idea here. Now we get double reward on Hua, um, total damage increase, that's okay. And then... Element Breach. Always the first choice, if they have it. Oh, another Alicia, let's go! Alright, this is really good. Okay, so the what we aim for here when we have low DPS, 
Um, if you watch my guide video on SPA, you will know that I chose um, Hua Tu Court in my SPA video. But that's because we have a lot of DPS from her um, signature stigmata. That actually is give insane boost. It's an insane difference. You don't understand how insane it is. The damage difference between using a Lagana full set versus this 3 star um, Wang Zhao Jun set. I feel like I'm playing two completely different characters right now. And I'm doing 2.25 right now. While my original video doing finality 2.75. Feels insane different. So yeah, because we don't have enough damage, then Hua Tu is not a good option because Hua Tu focus on you ha you are making the fight short. You're trying to make the fight sh as short as possible, and because of that, you don't risk the chance to lose all the stack. You're gonna finish the fight before all the stacks gone. That's the idea. But because now we don't have enough DPS, so we are going for Hua One. It's a better choice. Because Hua Wen gonna give you more invincibility time in general in a long fight. But it's also like a uh, lesser DPS choice. But we have to give it that up for a long fight. So here the fourth one, the fourth Elysia. Um, I personally be believe this one, Astro Flare, is better. Because this synergizes well with your Wild Flare Blessing. Because uh, when you're doing your first three normal hit, when you're doing first three normal attack, the first two normal attack give one astro flare, and the third attack give two, so that's four total. And by having this blessing here, we're gonna double the astro flare. So in your single rotation, when you do your do, well, your first three attack, you're gonna have exactly eight astro flare hit, hit, and that's maximum stack already for your wild flare. So that's good synergy with this. That's why I like this better. Now let's see what we got. We need Hua Court as like first priority. And sometimes if you feel like um so sometimes when you when you're doing this, when you don't have enough DPS and you reach for floor seven, when you have floor seven, you don't have enough DPS for double reward. And when you hit floor eight, you cannot even pass it. Then in here, you will want to enter the shop instead. Because if we're picking the additional center here, um skipping the first shop. We will get one free signal and also more coins. Yes, that's true, but only true if you are able to clear for eight with no problem. And because this is true, because we are getting this one extra signal and more coin for later on, for mid game and late game, not early game. Early game, we are actually sacrificing one less signal for floor eight. So yeah, if you don't have enough DPS, enter the shop, enter the first shop, and spend all your coin trying to upgrade and buy stuff. And then to get help me clear, but I believe I have barely enough DPS for this, so I'm I'm gonna skip the first shop, so I can prepare more for later on. Now the question is which one to take. I only have one reset that in this run, and I don't kind of don't want to just use it right now. So what I'm going for is I'm going for Calpus. The reason is because I'm using a three star um Wang Zhao Jun Stigmata, and. It gives 20% maximum HP. So that's why you see my HP is quite high here. So if I can get Calpus core unlock plus Hua core and plus hometown later on, then the syner they synergize with each other because if you have lower than I think 20% HP, then you will your hometown sigil is gonna have last two more seconds every use. So yeah, it synergize a little. So yeah, I'll, I'll go for Calpus here and hope that I get a the bowl we wore later on, so I can unlock his core. And I really hope I have enough DPS. This is a risk, but I really hope I can have enough DPS for the floor 7 double reward. And obviously, we're gonna save our sigil for next floor. So for the next floor, the strategy is quite similar. But then the So we're still gonna use the Sigil twice in the entire fight. But the difference is Next floor is got the first two waves they're both biotype. And for some reason the second wave 
enemy are much much more tankier than the first wave. So the, the plan is, we're going to use our support skill immediately in the beginning, but do not use the Sigil. And try to kill off the first wave without the Sigil. But right before, I would say like when they're, when they're down to 2 bar only, when they're down to 2 bar, um, do, at, at 2 bar, use your Sigil and try to kill them before the pain exploded. And so, by the time the second wave spawn, you're gonna group them right into the center, and then you can use your use your uh, the pain to try to wipe out the second wave. And then also after the second wave is dead, the third wave is gonna come, and then your sigil is gonna be back because you 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 recharge by the first two wave, the fourth battle type enemy that's six hundred, and then you use that on the seed again. So you should try to kill off the body as soon as possible and then use use your pain at the last 17 seconds and kill the seed. That's the plan here. So now what we're gonna get is the okay, um yeah, this is the only thing we can go for. But the problem is though, we we don't have core unlocked yet and he <laughs> our HP is at max, so that's bad. We are not gonna heal anymore. So I'm not gonna heal anymore on this. And hopefully we have enough DPS for double reward so we can get the core immediately next. Alright, so first Kill off the first wave without using the core. Okay. Now we're down to two right now. Two, three, four. Oh, our damage is pretty good. Okay, let me reset this real quick. I was underestimating my damage, actually. So in that case, we want the explosion to happen as soon as the second wave spawn. So we're gonna use our signal right quite early. Then. All right, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we can use it now, actually. And then try to kill them off as soon as possible. You do not have to keep them in the circle because you do not rely on the explosion to kill them. As long as they're dead, you will get the charge back. There we go. Now trying to group stay, make them make sure they stay inside the circle for the second wave. Okay. And when the explosion happens, now you see the bar only get down to three bar. That is actually not normal. When the explosion happens, they should be down to two bar or even one bar. That's what the normal damage should be because this situation actually deals a ton of damage to the early four. Yeah. So let's try this again because earlier we get buffed for sure. I tried this so many times, guys. So I know exactly how much damage they do. Alright. Great. Great. Keep them in the circle and also DPS. But then it's not enough to kill that one shot that with just about explosion. And now you see this. This is what I was talking about the third buck. When they are high up in the air, when you are knocking them higher in the air, the explosion is not gonna get them. For some reason, magical reason. It has a really short vertical hit range for this zero. <laughs> so I don't know if it's intended or it's actually a bug. I hope it's a bug and I hope they will fix it one day. But yeah, if this is actually intended, this really bothers me. I, and this is another reason why I don't like the signal. You cannot knock them high in the air, or it's not gonna even touch them. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Come in a circle. Again, see that? Again? That proves me, right? That proves what I said was right. So, now what I'm gonna do is. I am going to cast my my Glacial Sigil a little bit later, so that he will, so that the enemy will fall down by the time by the time they come here. Right, I'm gonna cast now. By the time they explode, I hope the enemy will be falling down, not up higher up in the air anymore, based on my rotation. Okay. Okay, they need to be in the circle, so come here. Oop. Alright. 
uh, they are outside of the circle. See, sometimes when they're outside of the circle, sometimes they hit. The explosion hit, like on 4 4 earlier. It hit. Obviously, it hit. Let's see. But for some reason, this time it's not hitting. So, yeah. I just don't like this Sigil for being like. It's too un inconsistent. It's too un inconsistent. But it's actually. It, it is a powerful Sigil. I have to admit, the damage is enough to carry you, get double reward, even though you don't have enough DPS. As long as you're using it correctly. Let's go. Again. Alright, you know what? In fact, I'm not even gonna hit them anymore then. If that's the case, I'm not gonna fight them. Until the explosion happens and then we get that secure. We're gonna secure the damage first. This time, okay? Alright. I'm not gonna hit them. I swear. I'm not like the second wave. I'm just gonna wait for the explosion to happen and let them take the damage first. Because it's just too buggy. I hate it. Alright. I, I had to group them first though. So group them. Alright. And I'm gonna wait. Alright. There we go. See the damage? It's down to one bar. Last bar. That's what is supposed to happen. Um, I hope that we still have enough damage because we lost some of the DPS there. I think so. Yeah, we definitely have enough damage here. For the third wave. Alright. Now we're just gonna group all of them and together and use our schedule at the last 17 seconds again. I might even have enough DPS to kill them with other sigil though, but I'm just gonna use this cast sigil just in case, you know. Yeah, we have pretty good damage. Alright, I'm gonna cast Kizuru right now. Just in case. Even though I think we have enough damage to kill them without sigil. Okay. Five seconds. Yeah, we're lagging a little, but that's fine. Explode. All right, there we go. Okay, we get the core. Nice. Uh, no damage, right? I don't like this one. When you have Hua core, it, this one you that you can pop it, but it's really hard to pop it. So I like the max HP first then. And then damage please? Yes, damage. And core 2 for sure, so we can always stay be below 18% HP. So that we can synergize with our later on, um, hometown situation later on. Now this one, another Calpus. Hmm. The question is, do we need more Calpus? Um, I would say... It's a safer choice to go, because we only have one reset. But... His intense signet are not the greatest. Be the reason why is because his enhanced signets all require 1,500 charge. And the only way to get charged is by healing yourself. Now, SPA he can heal slowly, very slowly. And that's bad because if you heal slow, you're gonna gain the charge very slow. You're only gaining 10% of your heal when you're healing, when your single healing is less than 400. And SPA healing is at like, what, 30 or 40 HP per second? <laughs> That's really low. So you're getting like 3 charge or 4 charge per second. This is very slow. So the only way to get this stack fast is by using your your skill, your elf skill. This one. But you are not able to see how much you gain here because, well, we are not in the battle. Once you win the battle, I think this will give you about 400 to 500 charge, recharge every use. And that your CD is like, what, 40 seconds? So it takes like three years to to get your stack above one thousand five hundred, and that's like eighty seconds into the fight. That is very very long. Oh, like half the fight is gone already. Well, in order to activate any of his enhanced it. that's why his enhanced is not the greatest. Now, what's an alternative choice to get? Is the normal that normal of losing HP boost total damage taken by an enemy? That was not bad. 
but again, like I said, if once you get Hua Core, it's gonna be rough to to activate it. So I'm actually leaning toward to resend. Hopefully, we get something useful here, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Come on. Oh wow! <laughs> the fifth Elysia or Anna? Of course, Elysia, right? Yeah, of course, Elysia. No question about it. Oh wow! <laughs> Oh wow, I well wow, this run is actually like amazing. Like crazy. I feel like I don't deserve this, but it's good. Alright, uh, see the charge? One use. 442. That's how much charge you get for each use. And our damage is really good big thanks to Calpus Court. But we gotta be very careful. Don't die. Alright. So you don't need to dodge a super well before you unlock Quakor. I hope I don't die here. I'm gonna be dodging like crazy. Now you can see my healing is very slow. It's only about 30 seconds per I mean 30 HP per second. Alright, my health is back on. Let's still gonna dodge well. Good thing we have S2. So that enemy is gonna get slow down. Every time we we use um we enter our Valkyrie mode. So that's good. So that we can actually have time to plan out when to dodge, when to when not. Alright. And you can see the damage is actually amazing because Calvin. And also it synergizes with our um Wang Zhao Jun stigma tail that gave 20% max HP. Yeah, two use. Two use of L skill. And we are at 1000 charge. So the third use is gonna be half 1500, which means like 80 seconds into the fight. That's why it's not that great, to be honest. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe we get five this year. I cannot. Okay, now. Oh, this is really good. Both really good. All three are good. Kevin? If you watched my video earlier, you will know that it is it provides great buff, but it only lasts for five seconds after you use your ult. So the uptime is not is not good. So that's why it's not it's in the, on the tier list, but not that recommended. And then amazing damage buff. Like the, one of the best damage buff you can provide when you have max SP. But that's only if you have max SP. Our current situation does not allow us to, to get that. So, and also we have Su plus 2 this week. So, Su is the choice here. Oh, by the way, you should be using your L skill like if you feel like you need damage early on, you should use L skill like right in the beginning before you even use Blood Rose so that you get the stack for max for increasing your HP for by 400 right right off the bat. So that's like what eight percent more damage right off the bat. But for me, I just like to. Use it after Blood Rose. I'm too used to it. So that, that you know, Blood Rose minus my HP and I'll heal me back up. So it keep me alive. Now the problem is we must get Juan next floor to get his core. Uh, I mean get her core. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it's going to be so rough on 412. We are going to get destroyed on 412. Like destroyed. With this low health, I right, please give me Hua. I don't want this home loss. Please give me Hua, please. Oh God. Well, we'll see how they go with our Hua core. Like, be super careful. All right. So the thing is, hometown sigil is not gonna work here with our Hua core. It's not gonna work. You only get 10 seconds. I mean, yeah, it's still 10 seconds, right? You get 10 seconds of invisible. But the thing is, once you get hit, you're gonna stop charging for 5 seconds. And that is a 
like insane disadvantage when you don't have claw core unlocked. So I'm we are, we cannot use this. All right, so we need to instead of going for the defense option, we need to go all in offensive option, and just trying to dodge as much as possible. Hopefully we don't die, right? What can we use here? Let's see, offensive option, either Kevin because you gain charge for every ultimate use, and your ultimate is technically 12 seconds for SPA. Uh, so either Kevin or, or B. B, well, it's a six second hit, but your weapon skill is 16 seconds. So it's gonna be very long for the recharge. So I'm leaning toward, let's see what else we can go for. We don't have enough SP regen, so definitely not this. Cosma, the most general one, but right now, to be honest, if we want more DPS, Kevin seems to have a better choice here. Yeah. Not this, for sure. Sakura, we're not, I mean, Sakura, we're not gonna dodge it. This is useless. Alright, so Kevin is. We're gonna try this out. Let's see how, how good this is. I never tried Kevin's thing before. Alright, so in that case. Um. Um. And then breach, but it's against Kevin though. <sighs> we can buy this. Oh, again, Hua is going to be really bad right now because we don't have the core and we're going to keep getting hit. So that means we, our stack is going to get keep, like keep losing stacks. Now, because of this, um, what we need to do, we're going to get Su core, um, Su core next, right? Cause double reward so so yeah so allows you to recover a lot of sp so that you definitely will never run out of sp for sure yeah so we're not gonna upgrade this anymore because we're gonna lose hua stack before we unlock the court so we're gonna upgrade kalpas actually max X hp first max hp first because it will increase your survivability and also increase your damage simultaneously now Su is a good choice when you have his um his combo normals in it unlock, which is what we're gonna do next later. So that's why I'm upgraded right now to prepare. And now these two I'm gonna upgrade evenly. But before we do that, let me see if I should buy this. I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking about this. This is another elemental breach we can get. I think I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Elemental breach is really good. Especially we are not gonna get much elemental breach from Hua right now, just for four twelve. So yeah, that's gonna help a lot. I'm thinking about this too. Total damage. Um, I'm gonna upgrade Calpus first. Screw it, I'm gonna upgrade Calpus first. Yeah. Elemental Bridge, I guess. I have last coin, might as well spend it. Might as well. Now, all in defensive, I mean offensive. All in offensive because our gear does not allow us to brute force with defensive stuff. Alright, great. So now, Su. Yeah, Su it is. We need the SP regen. Now this one, I hope we have enough DPS to get it. Which we should. Yeah, our damage is amazing. Whoa, and they all stacked to- <laughs> That was like they all stacked together, amazing! And then... I'm dead. <laughs> That's the problem when you have Calpus Core 2, but not Hua. Oh no. What is this troll? But yeah, our damage is actually like... Amazing, how are we not dead? I hope we still get enough. I right, just group them because I have the old max. Don't need the stack. Dodge! Remember, we don't have Hua and we don't have the hometown. So we must dodge well. And hold. And dodge next because he's attacking. I see. Oh, he got knocked up. Alright, uh, we're saving Kevin's signal for sure. We are not 
We cannot afford to use it here. Alright, I'm gonna uh, dodge as well. Hopefully, I don't die. Alright, they are in their super armor, their iron body, or whatever this is called. Oh, wow, one shot. Yeah, that's the problem here, guys. We don't have it. Quarkord. I was expecting to get Quarkord because I started off, I legit reset to start off with Hua, the goal we won, 4-4. Four, four. So that I hope that I can get Hua, one, just one more Hua later on. But no, it's not giving me one more Hua, it gave me like two more Elysia. Oh, which is the damage part for sure, but now we are like, like exposed to death. Easy. Right. We definitely have like crazy damage here. This is like, I'm not gonna lie, this is like the most damage one I've ever had. Out of so all the ones I, I have so far. Normally, I I lack of DPS to, to get double reward on 4 and 4 11 here. Like, no way to get it. Absolutely no way to get it. But now, it seems like I actually have. A chance. As long as I don't die, of course, I'm ready to play more safe. I haven't used this in the beginning so that I can get my elf skill back on time. Oh, watch out, watch out for an attack. Okay, watch that first. Okay, okay, there. I'm good, I'm safe. Let me use this, actually. This oh, wow, attacking. Oh wow. What the? I thought I dodged that. Oh, okay, I can see this is gonna be super rough, even though we have the damage. Oh, okay. It's gonna be another hell. Another type of hell gonna suffer through. Mm. Yeah. Let me tell you guys why well, I'm weird. We're stuck in here. So I tried. I am not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I tried at least like three days. Like seriously, three days of trial and error. But all those times, I don't have enough DPS. It doesn't matter what kind of signal I, I I get. It. I just don't have the DPS to to get past floor twelve. The best I the best one I do was like five bar. Down to five bar. And then the hammer runs out. That was the best one I got. But yeah, so this one, because I never tried calculus at that time. So but this one though, it looks promising for damage. Just I was hoping that calculus plus Hua is gonna be the way to go. Which I think it is the way to go. But I just didn't get Hua, not as planned. I was planning to get Hua, Kalpus, Core 2, Hua Core 1, and, and then use Hometown Sigil. Yeah. Alright, we got this. Double reward. See? We, I never get double reward in here without Kalpus. But Kalpus helps. A lot because I forgot how much HP we get from from using the three star Sigmata Wang Zhaojun Sigmata. So yeah, definitely thirty five combo. That's like we need this to pop our stuff constantly. And the last one, ah okay yeah, boost total damage. Then. That's the only one we get. The other two are not good. So the reason why you want the thirty five combo, not the eighty combo, is because if you somehow manage to get one fifty combo within 10 seconds. So you pop this early, right? You pop this, and then before the 10 second CD is done, you finish 150 combo and reset. You are not gonna activate this anymore until the 10 second cooldown is done, which means you're gonna lose 
some of the combos from from the beginning on your next rotation. That sucks. That's why the five the five second combo, the thirty five this one is much better. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one and still go for the second one because we we want to pop it more. I think right. Do we have actually the first one is better for the damage? I never tried the first one. I always go for the second one. But it seems like the first one deals more damage. Yeah, the first one seems like doing more damage. And also SPA is actually doing quite a lot of combo, right? Because the charge attack, each tornado do 12 hit. So that's 24 hit. But outside of that, she doesn't do much of that power. Actually, never mind. I will go for the second one. Pop more. Alright, please, Hua. We need Hua. We need Hua. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, Su is not bad. We can go for SP. So, yeah, better than the other two. Alright. I'm gonna use Kevin right off that. Blood Rose. Okay, look at the damage. So we're gonna dodge a lot here, like a lot. We cannot do our ultimate combo at all. That's for sure. Alright, so we're gonna hit, run, hit, run. Now if you if you activated your ultimate evasion, you are able to use your fourth normal attack for pick right off the bat. So you can make use of that. But outside of your your ultimate evasion, just don't do it. Just don't just attack once and run. Until you have three. Hit. You hit it three times and you pop your evil. Yeah, that's the only way unfortunately. Run. Oh no. Alright. Pop Kevin. Now if you pop Kevin, you are able to do your ultimate combo because he's gonna be freeze. And then you can do your ultimate combo to pop it. And we are so low on health. Oh no, we're so low. Oh my god, I'm not gonna die here. Please. Oh no! Woo. One more. Oh my god, my health, my health, my health, my health, my health. And my elf is not back. But look at the damage though. It's amazing. As long as we can survive here, we'll get it. Let's go. Alright. Alright. We we'll live. For now. We we'll live. For now. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Alright, elf almost back. Oh, elf almost back. Oh no! <laughs> wow. 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 Just wow. Alright, let's try again. No big deal. Try again. One, two, three, four. One dodge, one dodge, one dodge. Do it three times and then pop. Unless you, you trigger your ultimate evasion, then you can do your fourth hit. Oh no. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. I've enough of four, 12. I've enough. I've enough. Oh, let me out of here. Now, the only exception is that you trigger your ultimate evasion outside of your Valkyrie form. <laughs> that means your form is not is useless. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damage? We definitely have it. Definitely. This is the most damage one, like crazy damage one. Compared to my other ones. Oh, run, run, run. run. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna do his OP attack. I gotta, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Okay. In here, when you have enough damage. Better play safe than sorry. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to dodge this. Ooh. Oh, run. I have no time to bother with my support, managing my support well. I'm just gonna be pop it whenever I see it. What's up? Oof. And I gotta focus on my SP too, because if I don't see having enough SP for the, for your ult, if I keep pressing ult right there, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand still and, and not do anything and get hit. So yeah, all right, all right, all right. We can do a fourth hit now, or not, because the other robot is is doing his attack. All right, all right, all right, all right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. One, one, one. One dodge, one dodge, one dodge. That's what you, that's what you need to do with our Hua Core and also with our the hometown sigil. Oh, oh, it's up. Dodge first. Oh, dodge. Okay, four pick. Cause I triggered it. I see I triggered it. All right. See, we're at one. We passed the one minute thirty second mark, and we just had enough. 1,500 char charge for our, for our, oh, sh 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 Okay, let me finish this guy first before I start talking again. Oh, so close, so close. Die, please, die, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's there. Yeah, so I was talking about, we passed the 1 minute 30 second mark on the boss fight in order to get your 1,500 charge for Calculus. And that's like the minimum to trigger your intense in it. Which is really bad. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't like his um, intense one. Not on, not on SPA. Alright, we don't get SP though, unfortunately. That's bad. So what we can get here, not as combo for sure, we don't need this. Um, one of the enhanced debuff, last three, every debuff. Oh, we can ignite them, but that's it. We need this, right? Random debuff first. Yeah, random debuff first. Let me heal first. Oh, we got Hua finally. Let's go, Hua finally. All right, is this the run? The first time I get past 412, is this the run? So the plan is switch back to hometown after after um the shop. So we can use Kevin here actually to speed up, speed up a bit. That means we are not able to get double reward for spectate for sure. With the hometown, we're not gonna get it, I think. Yeah, now we're, now we're not gonna get it. But that's fine. I think we still have enough DPS for, for us. Should be. If I don't, you know where my mistake is. <laughs> if we don't have the DPS, you know where the mistake is. We need full offensive stuff. No Hua. I mean, no hometown. Let's see. I'm gonna upload this video even if I fail. Because this is a test video. It's for science. Alright, first court, right? Yeah, we need the first court. We need more invisibility. Because we are lacking damage. And I'm not that comfortable with my dodging myself. <laughs> I suck, okay? I suck. I shop. And change back to Hua, the hometown sigil. Heal up a bit. Alright, please, what do we get? Give me something useful. Oh, okay, Eden. Let's go. Eden's good. Eden is good. Oh, and this. Nice. Alright, hometown. And the question is do we keep Blood Rose or just switch to PKE? I think I'm gonna keep Blood Rose because this one, compare, combined with Kalpus, we gain the two more second invincibility. And if we're using PKE, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of invincibility time. But we got Court 1 instead of court 2 so i think the plan is to go with stay with blood rose all right okay and now because we're getting eden next are we able to buy two eden from here that's the biggest concern nope we are not able to buy any this one's trash next uh what else is shop oh never mind it's only eden no other choice okay so what else is good here we don't need that many SP because we have 5 in this year. So we just need damage. All we need is just damage. Pure damage right now. To cover up the 3 star stigmata. Weakness. Alright, nothing to buy. Upgrade Kalpas first. 
because we have a lot of HP right now. Calpus, and then this one, rare, uh, rare multiplier, and also elemental breach right now. Max it out because we have core. Yay. All right. Yeah, we don't need to buy. All right, total damage or elemental damage? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. But for SPA from our, for our Alicia here, we get quite a lot of fire damage from me. So I think total damage is actually a better choice because you want to make the multiplier even for multiplication. Yeah, total damage is the way to go. And oh, we can upgrade this too, nice. All right, so yeah, that is the plan. Let's go, Eden. Hopefully we get the damage and then. Let's see if we have enough damage to get the reward. Look at our HP. Whew. Why am I dodging? I forgot quad core. Why am I dodging? I'm dumb. Hold up. We can just do we can just go all in to damage. We have core. We just you know, need to save the last use for Hua for Hotel to prepare for for Husk. Oh uh, yeah, we don't have enough damage for sure. Nope. Double reward here is nope. I'm just using use um Hometown for the damage. So that we are not gonna stuck here forever. Oh look at that damage. Woo. To the sea there. Alright. Yo, he's dead before I can erupt it. Come on, I used blood rose for no reason. That's what I mean, Kevin is great. The damage is amazing for the breach part. But just that it only lasts for like what? Five seconds? Um not the greatest of time. Not the greatest of time. Yeah, our damage is lacking a bit, but not much though. And now I should have to pay more attention so I can kill it fast enough. Uh, no. Alright. How many seconds we lack? Probably like 20 or 30 seconds. I'm not gonna use my hometown anymore. Save that for next floor. Save that for next floor. Alright, he's dead. You're dead. Yeah, 25 seconds. If I optimize for my rotation, it's actually like, would be a 10 seconds. Should I try it once? Oh my god. <laughs> we don't. We got the worst ever. But the best is this one. Like this one, the lower the SP is, the more SP regen you get. This one is actually better than the SP regen per second. I just noticed this re recently. I tested both. This one's actually better. It actually restores you more SP because you're gonna constantly stay at low SP normally, right? When you're spending your ult. So this one is gonna benefit more than your SP regen per second. But we don't have enough damage, do we? Oh no. What's good for SP when we don't have the damage for Eden? Oh no. Or we can get this, reduce total damage. But we already have core, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get this so our SP can stay healthy. But uh, I am tempting to try once again. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me, guys. I'm gonna try once again to see how close we get to double reward here. I'm gonna optimize the rotation here. So I'm gonna group them first and then use you. Two, three, four, and I'm not gonna dodge at all. Right? And one, two, three, four. Oh. 
And I'm gonna spam my hometown as soon as oh, hopefully I can kill it on time. Okay, can I kill it? Here? Can I kill it here? Oh no. Oh, you know what? I got a better idea actually. Instead of casting my support right at the beginning, I'm gonna save it for the seed. So he cannot freaking freaking revive. Yeah, right? I'm still I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna save my blood rolls for the seed. Just the blood rolls. Oh, so in that case, I'm gonna cast my elf actually. I'm gonna cast my elf skill right at the beginning because I don't need the healing. Yeah, yeah, that's a much better choice. Alright, so cast elf, group, AE, and do my optimal rotation without, without blood rolls. Save my blood rolls for the seed. Alright. Is it seed time? Yeah, it is seed time. Oh, I used a little early, but that's fine. Let's see the difference here. Maybe I have enough here. And I'm still gonna use my hunter as soon as it's up. Ah, no fourth hit. Okay, gotcha. It's too slow for the for the final final fourth hit. So I'm just gonna do three hit. No fourth hit. Gotcha. Oh, I forgot to use Elf. Well, let me try this again. I want to see how close we are with the best rotation possible. I think we should be pretty close. Alright. Alright, next ult, no fourth hit. Alright, next ult, no fourth hit. Just three hit here and use block. One, two. Alright. Let me charge attack. Let me charge attack. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, great. Alright. Now second wave. Oh my god, that good thing is bad. That good thing is really bad. And again I'm gonna save my A support for the seed. And a heal, so I get more damage. More HP means more damage. Uh, is this still enough? And I'm gonna spam my hometown to kill this fast. Ah, uh, I should use ult right there. No, no. Wait, okay, he's dead. Oh, okay, he's dead. But do we have enough time? I don't think so. Still not. Okay, never mind. We don't have enough. Alright, alright. I see how it is. That's fine. But at least we see how close we are. If only if we are not using hometown, we'll definitely get a double reward here. But who cares, right? Who cares? As long as we don't die here, we don't troll and die here. I think we still have enough the damage. Enough damage for Husk. Definitely. Yo, not dead? Hello? You good? Who get that damage? Oof. Basic attack, by the way. Alright, SP, right? SP gen? Yeah. Alright, moment of truth. <laughs> can we actually do it? <laughs> Ultimate budget gear. Can we actually do it? Alright, uh, wait for it. The, ta the plan is wait for it, right? Two. The two charge attack. One, two, three, four. Quah. Give us invisibility. One, two, three, four. I spam ult. Oh, our damage just will be great. Hold up. Alright, let's see how well we do first. 
Let's see how well we do first because once he's down to 15 bar, right, he's gonna have a downtime. And this time is the best time for DPS to really stack up. The problem is my my support skill are all down at this moment. <laughs> my support skill are all down at this moment. So what you normally want to do is either spam your use your um your support skill right at the beginning and hopefully come back when by the time when Hus is down. So that you can you can like burst him down super fast. Now let's see if we still have enough damage damage to kill it. If we don't, I'm gonna redo it. But this time I'm gonna I'm gonna save both my support skill when he's down. Alright? You see what I mean? Oh look at our damage. Look at this damage. I know okay. One big like huge factor is that I got five initia. Which you normally would not get. But come on. I've been I've been I mean, we tried this like for three full days, and this is the first run I get fired this year. Run, I had to take it right. I'm sorry, guys, for, for you guys that to actually think that I, I win by luck, which I actually do. I actually do win by luck. This damage is insane for three star stick mode. This is actually is insane. Okay, you know what? Let me let me uh, 15 a second. I killed it right. Let's retry and actually try that strategy and see how well it works actually. Because, again, this is not a guide video, it's just for, for science, see if it's possible with the ultimate luck. Alright. <laughs> so, bear with me. One, two, charge, charge. One, I'm gonna save both my support skill. Alright. I hope I can still defeat him fast enough. Oh. Uh, I use it a little bit later, but that's fine. I'm not gonna reset it just because of that. I'm gonna wait for him to go down and burn everything on him. See how fast I so I see if it's faster to kill him that way. Oh, I'm gonna run out of here for sure. I can't afford. Oh god, I got tainted. No, no, no. That's bad. If you get tainted, you are not able to heal and also you are not able to recover SP. Now you see the problem, you cannot heal. That means you're not gonna get more helper stack for more for more for more damage. And again I should have used my elf healing at the right at the beginning. I keep forgetting about this. I'm so bad. Why am I so bad? Alright, run! Run! Alright, great. I'll be out of here. Alright, watch out for the bar, 15. That is when we want to... Want to... Do him right. Alright, shoot soon. Come on. Alright, AE. We can use AE now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at damage. One, two, three. Look at this damage. Oh, look at this damage. Look at this damage. Can I pop one more? Oh yeah, look at this damage. I think I still did not optimize it, but that's fine, whatever, because we definitely can clear this. But yeah, we definitely, if you optimize it a little more, you can, oh wow. You are gonna, like, destroy him in no time. Optimize your, using your support right, at the, right on time, and, and stacking all the buff possible when he's down. Oh my god, where is my attack speed? I'm like so slow. I'm so slow. Oh no. Oh no, I'm messing up so much. But I'm still gonna do it. Ah, it's much slower. Use your support skills, hi. Right at the beginning, use your support skill. I'm not gonna reset it anymore. You guys see the point, right? You guys see the point. It all depends on if you have enough damage to bring him down fast enough and early on. And so you can save your support later. Okay, I see how it is.
Okay. All right, he's dead. Pop. You done? Oh, I forgot. I don't understand. Now you done. Sorry. Now you done. Woo. All right. We are me mecha type. We counter bio type. Which is a pony, right? For you in, let me heal. Alright, Ponyo, you're up. Thank you. One, two, three, four. What ta? One more. One, two, three, four. Don't get up just yet. Let me pop you. Alright, and then use hometown. Three, four. Pop. Boom boom. Hey, where's our damage? It feels like so low. Yo, do I have enough damage for this? Yo. Hey, yo. One, two, three, four. Yo. One, two, three, four. It feels like you're dancing, right? Count the beat. Two. One, two, three, four, four beat. Oh, are you done for each one? Go. Go. Go, go, go. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, uh, phrase two. Uh, heal first. One, two, three, four. Pop everything. Wow, keep us in this ability to do our normal attack. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at the damage, though. Oh, look at the damage. When everything is up, damage is amazing. Like, where is he? Where is she? Oh, we're gonna kill this elf. Yeah, how tanky are you? I don't wanna pop him up just for you guys. Dang it. I guess I have to. The fourth pick should die, right? Okay. Alright, hometown. Hometown. Honestly, you guys, this is my second time fighting, fighting Aponia. The first fight was from the story. And in the story mode, I just literally destroy her <laughs> with that OP, OP light in me. Oh god. Whoa, 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 hold up. Ho oh, hold up. Yo, yo, yo. So yeah, that's why I don't understand her skill. <laughs> I haven't I haven't fired her fired her I have I did not fight her long enough to learn her skill. I don't know what to do. In the first part I just literally destroy her. So I did not even see what skill she used. Alright, you done. That's it guys! It is so the the test is it is possible to to get all your weekly gem with just three star stigmata, one Dao Jin stigmata, plus a level 50 weapon. And of course it has to be. I mean I don't think it has to be a snitch weapon. If you're using an actual free to play weapon, it might be possible, but you just need insane luck like me right now for the damage. And S2. And S2. Yeah, unfortunately S2 is a must. Unfortunately, <laughs> look at that. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get so many comments saying that I must I beat this with luck, nothing else but luck. All right, so here it is, guys. Uh, yikes. <laughs> look at this. But I have to admit, though, Calpus for the three star one thousand stigmata, it's actually synergized insane well, insanely well on this. This is the main reason it carries me to the to win. I tried so many that three days, guys. No kidding. Three days, three full days of keep trying without Kelpus. Neither of them worked. Uh, Su, Hua. I, I, was, I wish to get more Hua enhancing. It's pretty good. And the luck. The ultimate luck here. Carry me through the game. So yeah, I win because two main factors. One, I get five Elysia. 
two, campus. Three, Hua Kuo one. Yeah. So it is possible with the ultimate luck. And here you are, all the weekly gem. Not this, of course, but yeah. Again, my gear. On Zhao Jun's sticker motto. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I should never mind. The thing is, I forgot to record the beginning <laughs> until I reset. Uh, well, I will just record the beginning now and just put it in the front. Yeah, S2, S2, 962 attack at level 73. So at max level, each level you gain 5 attack each, right? So 5 times 7, 35. That's a thousand, exactly a thousand, barely a thousand attack when you're on level 80. That's attack you need. You need at least 1k attack and have S2 in order to clear all weekly reward with this, this kind of stigma. <laughs> yep, it is possible though. And again, Dorm, again Dorm attack, fire damage, 10% at Dorm level 22, which is kind of mid. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, just for the Divine Key, I know it expired now, but when I was doing it, I had this on. It just expired, like after my fight here, and I, I had this. So I was having a this 3 so yeah. Don't. And yeah, 4 attack, first attack, fire damage, right? And oh, by the way, 20 attack attack, I forgot to mention, 20 attack for my divine key, which is still pretty new. I, I think I only rolled one divine key so far. Only one. And I was using this emblem, because I know if you are not, if you are watching this video and you actually want to try it, you have not unlocked this yet, for sure. So I'm using tier 2. Yeah. So, conclusion, it is possible. To clear all weekly gems in ER with just three star stick button. Alright, bye.